الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها المحبة ومحبين Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabihi al-kareem wa ta'awin ala biri wa taqwa wa la ta'awin ala ithmi wa udwan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and cooperate in righteousness and taqwa and do not cooperate or assist one another in sinfulness or enmity This ayat, this ayah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from his speech, subhana, lets us know the importance of cooperating as believers. And that when you cooperate, it should be based on what? It should be based on righteousness and helping one another fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it should be in avoiding sin. However, what's incredibly problematic is a situation of many of our youth who cooperate fi ithmi wa'udwan, who cooperate in sinfulness and enmity and the epitome of that is those youth who cooperate on falsehood they defend their friends because they are their friends they defend evil because it is from their friends so they ta'awan on ithni wa'udwan they cooperate in sinfulness and evil so if their friend does something false, they cover up their falsehood and they cooperate with them in falsehood. And if their friend does something sinful, something hated by Allah Azza wa Jal, then they cooperate with them in that wickedness, in that sinfulness. This is displeasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It goes against the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us with this ta'awin. So ta'awin, cooperation in fact, is an amr min amur alladhina amra bi Allah azza wa jal. That cooperating in righteousness is a matter or is a command from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from amongst the many commands of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with this. And we know Al Amr Yufid al Wujub that when there's a command in the Quran that it necessitates in its origin that that command that, that is something obligatory, that something must be fulfilled. Likewise, a prohibition in the Quran, an-nahi yufid tahrim that when there is a something that is prohibited by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it means it's prohibited. It's impermissible. So in that command, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives a 
positive command, an affirmative command to do something, and he prohibits doing something else. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us to work together in righteousness. He commands us so. There's the affirmative command in this ayah. And also in, uh, in the same ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with, or He subhanahu wa ta'ala prohibits us from cooperating in sinfulness. Wala ta'awin ala ithmi wa'udwan. And do not cooperate in sinfulness. When you cooperate with people in backbiting and cursing, in slander, you're doing what? You're violating the prohibition of Eliza with gel. And when you join gangs, even if you don't consider yourself a gang member, but in fact you and your group of friends go around and commit criminal activity, and you cover for that friend, whether Muslim or non-Muslim, you're doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited you from. Allah has commanded you to avoid those things. And this wickedness is what destroys the Muslim Brotherhood, causes sin, destruction, and corruption in the land. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us and rectify the condition of all of our youth to stay away and remove themselves from evil and sinfulness, udwan, wa enmity, because the sinfulness leads to enmity. And when you ta'awan on hizbiya, you make enmity. When you ta'awan ala hizbiya, this is enmity. This is cooperation in enmity. Why? Because now you're cooperating on breaking the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam into a sect, into a group, into a party, violating the command of Allah subhanahu wa taala, violating the command of Allah subhanahu wa taala when He says, "Wa'tasmu bihablillahi jamian, wala tafarraku." Violating the command where Allah subhanahu wa taala says. Adhere all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. You've divided into a group. You've divided into a clique. Then, with that, where's the destruction? Where's the facade in that? Where's the evil in that? Is that you begin to divide the believers, become exclusive in distinguishing yourself from the believers, and you will defend falsehood in order to prop up your group, your sect, your party, your friends over the command which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded you with and that is to hold on to the rope of Allah altogether and not to divide and that is and to cooperate in righteousness and God fearfulness وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم